channel welcome back to another video in this video we're going to be changing the pedal box on a Vauxhall Safira B this is a 1.8 petrol and this is what we're going to be changing the accelerator it's actually come up as that there's a fault with this pedal box accelerator box sorry and we're going to be replacing it now the first thing is is we're going to be disconnecting the battery so let's just disconnect the battery first disconnect the negative it's always best to be safe and sorry just push that out the way there we go and then now it is going to be a bit awkward because it's very tight down here where I'm working I have put a light there but let's just have a look see if you can yeah it should be okay now the first thing we have to be removing is this panel here and if you look just here just there them are the clips we have to move and all you have to do to remove them is just put your your finger in your thumb and just turn it like that anti-clockwise as you can see and now that one should be loose and you'll have another one just here so again just turn that one these do come out by the way and then as you remove it this part and remove with it so if we can push that down if you push this forward like that you'll actually see here oh, there's one clip just come out now and that's what they look like oh there you go there's the other clip just put them to one side so you don't lose them and now you get this panel out is you just push it back, pull down, and as you can see, this part here, that'll come out with it, because that's part of it. There you go. And that's what this panel looks like. So she'll have one there, and one there. And if you just turn them anti-clockwise, it'll just come straight out and that's the bit I was on about when you put it back together you'll have a slot on the back of the panel of your shelf yeah make sure it slots in there in that part there when you put it back now this is gonna be a bit tricky for me to show you with one hand um, so you'll have three knots you'll have that one there and you'll have one there and one there and then you'll have your wiring connector which is just say uh, if i get the light and show you there you go one there and one bolt there as you can see and that's your wiring connector so I'm just going to be undoing these bolts now. Um, hopefully, if I put you where you can see. Um, let me just try and get you a good picture. There. My hand might be in the way, so you'll just have to bear with me. I'm actually going to be losing, using the cordless ratchet because it's actually quicker. Let me just get the extension bar. These are my 10 mil, by the way. Then when you take these off, just be careful they don't drop down the back of the carpet just here 
and that's what the nuts look like bear with me i think i have just knocked you sorry about that these of what the nuts look like so let me just try and set you back up the best i can i don't know whether you can actually see there Um, let's just try and get you a good view. There's the box. So I guys, I'm just trying to get you a good picture, the best I can. So I'll just bear with me. Um, I think the best thing I'm going to have to do is put you on the tripod. Um, can I get you there? Stay with me. I don't know whether you can actually see there, but let me just get the next one. There's the next one, exactly the same. And the last one. There's the other one. And then the pedal box. Sorry, I've actually knocked you again. Yeah, I'm sorry about the camera angles, but as you can see, that's the pedal box off. And then all you have to do is undo this wire here, so you can actually take it off and then get your other one and put your other one back on. Now, there is a slot at the back here what you have to undo just here and once you undo that that wire just comes out as you say this one here just slides forward comes out once it comes forward it releases it and then you can just take it straight off i'm just going to have to put you on pause now just why i do this because like i say i am struggling to get the camera angles and i'll show you once i've undone it so as you can see, all I've done is just got that red clip, pulled it forward, and as you can see, it slid straight out. Now while you're here, it is a good idea to check for green corrosion and stuff like that in there. As you can see, this one's okay. Let me just check in there as well. That's okay as well. There's no green corrosion in there. For those of you who are interested in the part number, there it is. Um, made in Germany, as you can see. Right, I'm just going to be giving the other one now and refitting it. So I'm just going to put you on pause. So bear with me just while I'm going to get the other one. Right, here we are, back with the other one. As you can see, um, I doubt if I got it the right way. It is the same part number, as you can see, exactly the same. Um, I can't see no special way, that's the face of it, what goes in. I can't see no special way as we go in, it just pushes straight on. I'll actually show you the face of it as well. That's what it looks like. So all it goes on, it just goes on. That one there. And them two there. Put your bolts on. Put your wire on. Put your bolts on. Pull it back on. And there you go. So I'm just going to put you on pause now. Just wire. Put the accelerator wire back on. And then I'll be back with you. So there you go, I'm actually going to be showing you 
Out to put it on. There you go. There's your wire. If you just get your wire, it does um, go on. It don't go on that way. So you can't get the connector mixed up. Which way it goes on? It only goes on one way, which is that way there, facing the white label. If you do, just push it on like that. Once you push it on, all you have to do is get your clip, push your clip in, and it actually locks on like that and then all we have to do is just pull them on them three studs where I show you like I says it is a bit awkward um, let me just try and line it up first it would help there you go that's actually on there now. I am going to be giving start the nuts off first. Just like this, I'm just using an extension bar. I'm just going to be pulling that on and I'm just going to be slipping the nut just on like that. As this will give you a big advantage. So I'm just going to begin the top ones on first. Just pinch them up. So this is the second one. Um, just the bottom one now. Would you bear with me? This one. Off. Pinch the bolts up now, not too tight, just pinch them so oh. it is very figgly. I don't know if we had it on the other way. Just the bottom one now. There you go. All back on. And then all we have to do after that is get our panel, pull our panel back on, which is just under there, which you know where it comes off because I'll show you how it comes off. Like I said, there are the clips. That's what they look like. They just go on and turn like that. I'm just gonna disconnect the B, back, put the battery back on now and just test it. So I'll just bear with me while I'll put the battery back on. So, I just can't bring you around here. I'll connect the battery back up. I'll check it so it's all nice and tight. You just come back to the driver's seat now. Now all I'm going to do now, I'm just going to start it up and see if it actually revs. So just make sure it's in neutral. Start it up. 
Now I'm just going to press the accelerator pedal. Would help if you could see. So if I just press the accelerator pedal, I'm just going to see if it revs. Let me just turn the radio off. And as you can see, it's revving. And there you go. And that's all it is to replacing the accelerator pedal on the Vauxhall Sofia B 1.8. This is a 2010 model. But then um, I suppose it's the same across the models. If this helps you out at all, please consider giving it a thumbs up, liking, subscribing for future videos. I'm actually going to be leaving it there now and stop waffling on. And until next time, I'll catch you in another one.